Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to use React with PHP. Now, you have to understand that this is all going to be in the dev environment, so this is, you might be looking for a production environment, so you, typically, you know, it's common to use an Nginx server with a PHP um, backend that sits on Apache. Now, those are two different um, engines there. So, I will probably put out a an actual repository on um, building out a React PHP application on an Apache server. Now see, if you look at my screen, this is what I'm talking about. This repository is currently empty. I have not done it. But today I'm just gonna show you how to do it in a dev environment. I'm gonna show you how to use React as the front end and PHP as the back end. Um, I'm gonna use MAMP. You can also use LAMP or uh, WAMP. It's, it stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And that will be my back end. And then um, this repository here, look at my screen again is called just react.js it's it's exactly what it is it's just react um, there is a server file you do need node installed and it's currently set up to run on an engine x server technically um, but we're not going to but essentially that's why I, I have I'm not saying this is good for production but you, if you're interested in getting started with react this is a great way to do it so first thing you're going to do is uh, copy that clone link that I just did and you're going to clone this repository and not here. And I'm actually going to CD into my desktop, and I'm just going to do a git clone, and then you want to switch into that repository and do an npm install. Okay, so as that installs, we're going to uh, get our map started. This has never gotten started on the first time, so if <laughs> there's a cut, it's because I have to fix this. Bingo. Okay, so I found my port. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just changed it so that it would it would um it wouldn't conflict with other things that ran on port 8888. It was a common port, so I changed it, and I forgot which one I changed it to. So what I'm gonna do here is I got a bunch of folders. Um, demo React. I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna jump into that folder, and so essentially this will be um, demo React. Here will be my will be my like actual working folder. Just opening up a editor. I'm not going to show you how to do the PHP port uh, part because it's port, but part because I think you can figure that one out. It's not the important aspect of this. I really want to show how to do the React and PHP and just get them to work together. So I'm just going to create an index.php file. Um, I'm going to say hello world. And I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to call it something called API and then I'm going to call it um, demo.php. And in demo.php we have PHP scripts, uh, tags, we have response, which is all hard-coded, so um, and then I want to do a JSON echo JSON encode response, which, in, which essentially turns this all into a JSON response. So if I refresh this page, we have hello world, and then we go to API slash demo. PHP. Uh, you can add an HD access file to remove the .php off the end of that, but this is, so now we have our actual response here. So the PHP part is done. Um, it's running, it's working. And now it's time to get the React to, to hook up to it. So our React is now installed, so we're just gonna do an npm start dev. Just to see if this runs right off the bat. It should. Sorry. Okay, so it says it's compiled, it's on port 2019. Yeah, I'm really running out of ports. That's the one thing about this. And so as you can see it has just the React. Yes, we're just reactants. Um, and so we're, I'm going to open up another text ed editor. 
and we're gonna open up the Just React project, and we're gonna just add a fetch call to to the back end. Okay, so the project has opened up. We're going to look at our code here. So we have essentially everything is an app here, uh, the client app. Nothing's in the server. Server is just the uh, Webpack build code. Um, and so we have two pages. It's pretty simple. If you look at it, we have app wrap, wrapping the home and the hello world. Hello world's in here. So we're just going to go to home. That's where this text comes in. I guess add a break. And we're going to make a server side call. So um, it's going to be called get PHP. I mean, this is not uh, what we really want, but. And so we're going to paste this. This is um, the server-side code that uh, calls the backend. It's, it's a GitHub fetch library. And get php this dot get php dot bind this. And we're going to add a button on the click this dot get php. Put some text in that button. And so our endpoint is HTTP localhost 9000. Yours is probably 8888 slash API. Uh, I have it right here. And you need the .php. Again, if you want to remove that, use um, an HC access file that are pretty commonly written out there. I'm going to use these headers here. Just going to include this. I mean, I'm not going to show it to you, but. Um, what I'll do is. Since uh, we'll grab a post content and then all we'll do is pass that back through to the responses just to show you that you can yeah let's do this um, and so this is going to be a post request on the click I mean, and then you need a dot then and this is the response and console.log the response So all of this is being refreshed as um, it's all a lot since it's 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 all on the front end. So now if I hit load, it should render the back end content, take the message from uh, the post request, and put it back in. So load. Okay. So that's the next thing. So this is the um, access. Uh, you have to manipulate the cores so that it only works um, with specific. Um, domains. Uh, uh, yeah, so you have to get the. Okay, so this error here is uh, a cores issue, which means uh, the browser doesn't allow you. Well, not the browser. The server says that you can only allow calls coming from um, specific, like from the same domain. So since this is on two separate ports, they're technically not the same domain. And so what we have to do is set it up so that um, it does allow it. Now, if you're doing this in Node, there's a library called Cores. I think it's npm Cores. Um, that's pretty fantastic, and it handles all this. But since we're doing this in PHP, we have to, I, I actually don't know, but we're going to have to figure out how to change the MAMP Cores permissions. So according to the internet, this is the um, Cores permissions that we ha have to use. And so we just have to use a .ht access file. I'll just save that in the root. I don't want to buy Sublime. And there isn't a typo there. And we'll give this a try now. Voila! Um, as you can see, the response is coming through. Message is null, however. I shouldn't have closed that. Look at my PHP code here. Content. I, I bet you I have a typo. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't just leave it like that. I couldn't. I was gonna. I was gonna just end the video there. Um, 
not properly working. I said try to go use the super agent library here, but I realize it's pretty bad. I mean, I, I don't want to make this video too long, but I will successfully make a post request via <laughs> via um, the front end with data because I can't leave it like this. So um, if you keep going here, if you jump, oh shoot, I closed it. If you open up the project just react that we were using, jump back all the way down to, um, it's a matter of actually removing the headers because I think it's the wrong header that we're using. At this point, I'm just trying to debug it. If, if, if this is enough, um, I'll, I'll probably, I might actually just exclude all the entire debugging part. Save that and then jump back over here. Oh, there. <laughs> just had to remove the headers. So removing the headers uh, allows you to send data between the two. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, sorry about that cut. I mean, I, I, I didn't want to leave it like that. Um, please subscribe. I got more videos next week. So thanks for watching.